all righty grade nines. Today we are going to learn about indenting text. Indenting means to push something or shove it to the side, okay? Kind of like what you do when you clean your room and your parents are coming to check it out. So, have a look. Uh, first things first, when you, uh, the document that you're going to work in, if you are not seeing your ruler, it's very important, you need to see that ruler, okay? So, you go to view, ruler, there it is there. Okay, cool. Back to home. Now, in the ruler, this is everything you need. Everything you need is here and over there. The first paragraph says first line indent. So let me show you what we actually use to do this. On the left hand side of your ruler, you have three different shapes. There's the triangle, the upside down triangle. That is your first line indent. Then you've got the triangle pointing upwards. That's the hanging indent. And then you've got a rectangle at the bottom, which is your left indent. On the far right hand side, you've got another triangle pointing up. That's your right indent. So, our first paragraph, it doesn't matter where you are in the paragraph. Like, you don't have to go and select the whole thing, okay? You can just be inside the paragraph. Just be the paragraph. And then, you're going to do the first line indent with your ruler. So, I go to take my mouse, I go to the top here, and I see it says, first line indent. Click, hold the mouse button down, and drag. And just like magic, you can see... Check it out, it's dragging that first line only. It's only in indenting, shifting the first line. Okay? Easy. Next one. The hanging indent. Again, be inside the paragraph. And we're going to do the hanging indent. So the hanging indent was not the top one. It was the next triangle pointing upwards. Hold your mouse over it long enough. Tooltip pops up, hanging indent. Good. Click and drag Ugh, let's click and drag there we go got it and do you notice what's happening well, of course you do i'm showing you right now the hanging indent moves the second and third and fourth and fifth all the consequent lines or subsequent lines but not the first line that's the hanging indent all right remember your ruler is what you're doing this with now we're going to get uh, slightly more fancy. We're going to use uh, measurements as well. So here we're using the left indent. That shifts everything across. Okay, so have a look. Inside my paragraph, the bottom one here is the left indent. I'm going to click, drag that all the way to five. There's five over there. I've now used a left indent of five centimeters. Let's look at the next paragraph. A right indent by three centimeters okay so be careful now because a lot of guys get this mixed up they think they must go to three centimeters on the ruler but that's not right it's by three centimeters and remember you're going from the right so we're counting backwards have a look so there we are at 16 and a half so I've got to go three okay three backwards so there's one two three there is a right indent by three centimeters, not to the three centimeter mark. Okay, don't get that wrong in your exam, please. Next paragraph, the last one. Two things to do here. First line indent by four and a right indent by six. So first line indent by four, because we're on zero, it's going to end up at four anyway. So the first line, let's do the first line up to four and then the right indent by six so it'll be one two three four five six okay and that's what your document should look like